just some safety concerns about diving in Melbourne. In our summer months, we have every, every person that's got a bathtub with a motor on it or a jet ski or a boat, everybody's on the water. Um, it's a great time to go diving because the water's warm. Uh, and it's great to be down at the beach, but be aware that uh, with all the boat traffic, it is actually a very dangerous time to be diving. Um, so make sure that you've got your um, a, a nice big float, uh, as big as possible. Uh, if you've got two, strap them together. Uh, make sure that you've got your little diver's flag on, on it, um, indicating that there's a diver there. What we always suggest is for you to have a really short float line. We're not diving deep in the bay, so probably a 10 meter uh, float line is uh, more than enough. I wouldn't go for anything longer than that. And the main reason for that is that if a uh, um, somebody that's on a boat that's skippering a boat, if they see a float, they're going to be looking for a diver in that area. If you've got a 30 meter float line, you're going to be, you know, way f like so far away that they would not even think to look in that area. So it's good to have a short float line in the bay. Even if you have a short float line and if you've got a big float, that doesn't mean that the the people in the boat will actually see you. They are often concentrating on other things. So it's important to, um, for myself, what I do is if I hear a boat that's coming, um, I'll pop my head above the water and try and see where the boat's coming from. And when I see the boat and if it's coming anywhere near me, I'll take my gun and raise it up out of the water just to try and get the boatie's attention, just to, so that he's aware that there is a diver in the water. Uh, I've had a few of my friends been hit by boats um, and some people have had their float lines hit with boats and they've lost their spear guns. So it's just something to be aware of that it is uh, fairly dangerous in our summer months. Obviously winter months, not so many, not, not as much boat traffic, so it's, it's a lot safer in that sense. Um, but we don't have a warm water and um, we're kind of on the outsides of our kind of main spear fishing season uh, in terms of snapper and the, the, the species that are more prominent in our summer months.